Hi, welcome to Everything About Web. This is the video tutorial on how to create a sitemap. Here's an example of a basic sitemap. It's for a fictitious company called Monday May Design. And a few things to note about this sitemap is that you'll notice that um, there is a top level of boxes on this sitemap. And this is normally considered the first level navigation, which is um, normally the main navigation for a website. Notice there are boxes underneath the top level, the first level of boxes. Um, these normally represent what are called subpages and are sometimes referred to as second level pages. So um, one other detail to note is on the sitemap we've got the series of um, letters and numbers. You can see in the services section uh, the first box is labeled C and the boxes below it are labeled C1 through 6. This is referred to as alphanumerical labeling and this is really helpful for you to keep your sitemap um, site map organized and to be able to refer to it by that alphanumerical labeling rather than by the name of the page. So why do you need a site map? A site map really is the blueprint for the entire site and it's important for not only the for you as the designer developer but also for the client to see um, how the site will be organized. So let's look at an example website. Uh, this top navigation is what would represent that first level if we roll over the um, first level, you'll see that we have subpages in several of these sections, and these subpages would be represented by that second level, so that second level of boxes. So probably the easiest thing to do is to outline your um, website first. So it's much easier to organize your um, sections on paper before you start drawing them out. So what I tend to do is put together a little content outline and you can see that um, here's where you, you could play with the sections. I've included the alphanumerical labeling and just to note I've, uh, this is actually um, a, an abbreviated version of, the, of their existing site. So let's look at how we would draw the sitemap. So I've got a template here that's done in Illustrator. And um, some of the first things that you'd want to do is make sure that you've got your sitemap um, labeled. So make sure you've got the title. Oftentimes you want a version number and then a date. And this is just a template. So um, you know, I'm going to just use this as sort of a, a guide. I can delete things that I don't want to use, and I could go in here and start changing the names of these pages to reflect my um, content outline. So you can see I started that here. I'm um, putting in face, eyes, cheeks. Um, I believe the next one is lips. So I go ahead and create on this top level the, um, I would represent all of that main navigation. So the A, B, C, D, E. We go back to our um, outline, we've got everything from A through I. Okay. So I want to be able to draw that in to, to represent it. Um, then below my main sections, I'm going to start drawing my boxes for my subpages. So if we go back to, for instance, the eye section, there's luminous eye shadow and pearl eye shadow. So I could go back here and change this to luminous. This one is pearl. Okay. I can go ahead and using the selection tool, select these boxes that I don't need and just delete them, okay, and also the same thing with the lines, you can change the size of them, and if I want to make additional uh, boxes, I can use the selection tool, copy and paste it, oops, and start um, adding additional subpages to my sitemap. So that's kind of the quick and dirty of uh, creating a sitemap, and I hope you find this helpful.